Reflective Practice and Introductory Session This short presentation is about reflective practice for students as an introductory session on the benefits and challenges for reflective practice in a changing world. I personally understand the importance of reflective practice and how this type of process can be challenging for students and especially for those who are not used to this type of learning process. The I experience is a very powerful platform for you to learn about such as narrating where you are at now and where you would like to head towards in the future. The I experience is not an easy way of communicating your goals, challenges or success stories. However, what the I experience can do is to assist you to find your voice and early and begin to understand how you learn and how you would like to learn so that you can achieve the best possible outcomes while completing your studies. We want you to be set apart from other university graduates and using reflective practice effectively can help achieve this. Remember that reflective practice is a challenge for international students who haven't used this learning technique before and especially when English is your second language or those of you who might have a disability. One of the most beneficial areas of reflective practice is that you get the opportunity to create, imagine and try something new that can assist you to learn about yourself but most importantly, how you can improve. There are many different ways to complete reflective practice, such as using journal entries, images and audio, and it is a unique process because you use the I experience. Here is an example of what you might be asked to do and will give you an understanding of how to begin an effective reflective practice entry in your ePortfolio or other shared areas of communication. You will see that there is a table with set headings. The first one states reporting. This is where you give a brief description of the account of the situation and what happened and why the situation took place and how you were involved. Then you can go on to respond. This is when you can put in your feelings or questions about the situation or each issue and it's okay to be personal. The next session is relating. This is when you start to make connections with what you are learning in the learning experience and the theories that are taking place in the classroom. You can also incorporate other resources from various areas, such as the World Wide Web. The next section is reasoning. This is when you explain the situation and the issue, what happened, the factors that might have influenced the situation to occur, any relevant theory and experience. Lastly, reconstructing. This is when you draw everything together into a conclusion and develop a future action plan. At times, you'll be asked to demonstrate your reflective practice through the use of reporting on a critical incident that may have occurred as part of a learning experience. Remember that most students will find this task difficult and if that is the case, seek help early. It is always difficult to be honest about the areas we need to improve on, the struggles we have or when things become stressful. However, if you focus on the critical incidents from the perspective of an event that was challenging, non-routine, required new learning or was mentally, emotionally or physically draining in some way, this will assist you with the challenge of writing in the first person, which is the I experience. This way it becomes engaging and illustrates your critical thinking for positive change.